Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for a new episode, new series of the Rags to Riches series, where we start off with nothing but a truck, trailer, tractor, and a tent or some sort of home on a new map, and we go from nothing zero dollars in the bank account all the way up to millions and this time we're back we're better than ever and we're ready to get started i hope you guys enjoy this episode today and let me know some suggestions of what you may have for this series as in like what we'll get into what we're going to do it's been a while i'm getting back into recording for youtube it's been a busy spring things are starting to calm down a little bit so i have more time to to game and to record and do youtube so we're going to get back into it all right so starting off i want to give you the lineup of what we've got what we started off with first off we own a little bit of land i'm going to show you the map we own plot 23 on this new map this map is called corpy k-o-r-p-i and we're starting off on plot 23 and as you can see it has plenty of room plenty of things to do it as a complete start from scratch map it's got a little town center here to buy and sell things but that's about it basic as it gets it's got little bridges across rivers we're setting up right here right in front of this bridge pretty close to the town center so it should be pretty easy to get started now the very first thing we're starting out with is you already know we gotta have our chainsaw yep we're gonna start off with some logging we've got our pj load trail 16 foot trailer with the 11r 22.5s dual tandem axle we've got our 2013 chevy silverado 2500 hd high definition that's right four by four uh, with a toolbox in the back it's got a goose ball in the back as well it's got the 6.0 in it we are still rocking the gas of this truck and then on over here we have the john deere 710 tractor we're going to start out with with plowing and mowing up grass and stuff and you already know we've got a an old style uh cutter here that we can use or mower i guess you'd say we can use to cut the grass with so besides that we've got a little tent here where we can sleep we've got some food we got some uh jarred food there we got a propane tank all that good stuff everything we need to survive got a little campfire basically the backstory we sold everything we kept a few essentials like the truck trailer tractor well we actually bought the old tractor and the old mower from some old guy before we moved out here into this uh corpy state uh and uh yeah we just set up a tent pitched a tent we're going to get to it we've got to build an empire build a nice homestead and make a life for ourselves out here so let's go ahead and hop into the silverado start him on up here all right let's go ahead and let's hook up to our trailer because we got some logging to do now we've got some bumpy terrain ahead of us let me turn this bad boy around so we can get into the woods because we've got to get some money coming in we are literally setting at zero dollars if you look in the top right and we have got to get some cash so let's go ahead and right here is where it starts off-road baby i guess we can just clear this area out or should we get kind of deeper maybe like right here right into the the heat of it right here man it's so grown up like it is literally woodwork you know all right now let's go ahead and chop this bad boy down we want him to fall that way. All right. Hope you guys have, uh, a lot of you guys have been patient with me. A lot of guys have probably moved on, which is fine as well. Uh, basically, life took over, man. Uh, you know how it is. And, I, you know, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. And honestly, unless I built, like, a team or something, I don't know if I could be a full-time YouTuber. It's like you know you you have to go and you have to record i don't know about it i'm gonna try to keep it to one video a week if i can uh for this series but if not we'll just keep it right on going so let's saw off this one tree here and we'll probably do a couple 
before I just fast forward. I don't think I'm gonna do a time lapse of the cutting the tree. Um, we're just going to uh, have it fast forward to when I have all the trees gathered. It's a bit longer than I like it. Oh, no, it looks like it's about the right size for us here. All right, strap that puppy down while we grab the next one. And I'm kind of curious how much one tree will bring in as well. That's what I'm really curious about. Really curious about that. Also, um, I haven't played the game in so long. I don't know what new mods are out. Um, I, I up downloaded rather a bunch of mods that needed updates that I already had. And I don't even know what the updates are for or anything like that. So you guys will have to let me know if there's like a new must have mod or something like that but it's good to be back in the driver's seat of the content creation i just need to moderate it and not go as hard as i did before because i was literally three videos a week for one man and then posting i think i posted by the end of when i started taking a break and doing the pressure washing stuff uh it was it was crazy man um I'm up to like 1,200 TikToks, I believe. It's insane. All right, but let's go ahead and head back to the shop. Gosh, I got to dodge all these trees, though. Holy cow. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. I can't see anything. Very dense forestry work going on right now. Very dense. I can't see a thing either. Gosh almighty. Oh, there's a deer. Where are we at here? Oh no, that's not where we want to be. We want to go back that way. All right. I think we're back on track, though, if I can make it back to camp. We'll have to go. This poor truck is going to have scratches all over it, man. Oh, well. Be able to buy another one with cash, you know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, Lord. Bouncy. All right. This is one tree's worth. Let's see how much it gives us for it. I love this terrain. I love the change in elevation. I love the different just different looks. It's not just a bunch of flat land. Love it. This is my kind of map right here. Yes, sir. All right, coming up on the shop. I think I got to go around the hill and then over to the sawmill up there to sell this. We are negative three dollars in the bank. I don't know if you guys can see that. Where we're actually negative three bucks. All right, let's go over here to the sawmill and sell these bad boys. All right, let's unstrap. All right, let's see how much we get. Nice. So 2366 bucks for one single tree in those woods. That'll be... Gosh, mighty, yeah, we're going to have to have a lot of tree cutting going on. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to the woods. And I don't think I'm going to do a time lapse. If I end up doing a time lapse, then it'll be time lapse. But if not, I'm going to skip forward to when we've got at least three or four trees cut up and on the trailer. So we don't have to take a bunch of time and a lot of your guys' time. So, all right, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, we've got about three load or three trees uh, of uh, in this load here. Let's see how much this brings us in. It should be, I'm thinking, at least 6000 bucks. I also got a little bit of piece in the bed there that I made too small without realizing it. All right, let's swing him in here. Uh, come on now. Uh, whoa, a little bit too far there. All right, let's also unstrap this guy and then hit the sell button. And I was right, about $6,523 worth of wood, bringing our total to 8,874 bucks. 
And with that amount, let's go ahead and let's start cutting up that small field area. And actually, we also need to decide uh, where we want to make a road to. I'm thinking, let's see if I can find, if I can find where our land starts and stops at, we can make us a little dirt-like road where this one ends. I think this one ends. I could be wrong, though. If it doesn't, that's fine. That's okay. We might actually make a gravel road. Yeah, it doesn't end. So I do know that all of this is ours all the way to the tree line. So let's go ahead and let's leave this parked to the right here, right off the road. And let's go ahead and hop out. Uh oh, did I accidentally? I did. There we go. Let's run over to the tractor. All right, get in this bad boy. Let's go ahead and mow some grass. We'll probably have to rent, if they got one, a baler of some sort. Um, let me know what you guys think about renting this series. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Holy cow, what a drop that is right there. Uh, if you guys don't want to rent, I I'll oblige by that. Let's see if we can even cut the grass. Sorry, we can. Nice. Yeah, we're going to need a tether, too. Now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and start cutting. I will make this a time lapse because it's going to be a lot of cutting. And I'll catch you guys in just a second. Right, guys so we got the field over here mowed up with our john deere and i went ahead and got about two or three more trees uh, worth of lumber because i think i'm gonna go ahead and make the executive decision that we can uh, lease equipment for like a task starting out here just to give us a little little help at the beginning otherwise it's going to take us four episodes just to get anywhere and i'm not a huge fan of that especially where i don't have a crap load of time like i did in season one so let's go ahead and drive down here and sell off another load of logs and then i'm going to show you what i'm thinking that we will lease for the day and I think it should come out to right now. It would put us under, I think. But I think if we do it right, we should be okay. Let's go over here and sell this. All right, 
pull up right there. Let's unstrap everything. Let's go ahead and unstrap what's in the bed as well. And, uh oh. Let's move the trailer a little bit. Oh, all right, there we go. Nice, we're up to $13,958. And then I'm gonna pull over here. And here's what I've got in mind. I'm thinking that we lease a medium style tractor. And I'm thinking we go with the Field Boss Series 3 White Farm Equipment. And it's got 125 horsepower to lease it for the day. It's $1,341. And then I would like to also get a baler leased out here. If I can find something to pull it, I think we would be okay with this one possibly. And to lease this bad boy, it would be five grand. So if we get this and the field boss, although I wish we could pull, if we could get a big enough tractor, 350 horsepower, we could pull this bad boy and it has a wind rower on the front of it, which would save us an enormous amount of time. But to lease this bad boy, it's nine grand. We're not gonna be able to do that. So let's go back to wind rowers. And what we're gonna have to do is, I believe we're going to have to rent this front wind rower, the Lizard, and it's gonna be 1600. And let me just make sure that the tractor has the capability to do that. I don't think it's gonna be able to, maybe? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be able to, unfortunately. Let's see if we can find another tractor that would be able to. Because if we could put it on the front of a tractor, then we'll be able to, um, oh, this one looks like it can, I believe. So we can go with the 7200 Pro Series, 170 horsepower, and we can win roll as we, uh, let's see how much the lease is. Oh, wow, it's a lot more. Okay, guys, well, it looks like starting out here, we're gonna have to lease this bad boy for 1300 bucks. All right, and then we need to grab the baler. All right, guys, here we are with the uh, baling setup. We're gonna have to tether it first with the white tractor, and we're gonna have to also use the pottinger to bale it and make us some silage. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything loaded up and back to the farm. Oh, baby, listen to that tractor. I think I wanna buy this one first once we get enough money to. I think this will be a great upgrade from our current John Deere. And the reason why we're having to rent um, is because the John Deere just simply can't do it. So actually, I guess we're not that far away. Let me hop out and turn off the truck. And we'll drive this back to the, uh, we'll drive this back to the farm here. All right, guys, a lot of you guys wanted to see this tractor uh, during season one. So just now being able to get it out and use it, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see, let's get a screenshot while we're at it. And for this series, I do want to have a lot more like in between the episode live streams. And I'm also able to live stream on TikTok now so we can start really uh, getting uh, the traction of the following going again. I think that we can uh, hit 10K still by June. Uh, we're sitting just above 7,000. So I think the goal of 10K by June is still doable. Um, it's just the pressure washing business coming in really slowed us down. So but I think we can still do it using this big Kubota uh, wind rower. Let's go ahead and get this folded down. And let's see, let me go back to the shop and let me get the truck and the other uh, baler real quick. All right, guys, we're back at the farm. Let's go ahead and lower this bad boy and turn it on. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna pop on a bit of a time lapse here.
guys so i just actually recorded this outro and everything as you can see i've returned all the equipment that we just rented out and now we have a sea of marshmallows already in episode one that's right now we're gonna let these ferment until the next episode and uh yeah let's go ahead and close it out i do want to make use of the john deere the marshmallows are purely just to get our bankroll up we're right now sitting at sixty five hundred and forty eight dollars in season two of rags riches this is now season two this is going to take the place of the season two file that got deleted and we're just going to start anew if you guys enjoyed this episode please do hit the like and subscribe button it's almost june and i said i hope we can make 10k by june obviously we had a big hiccup with my pressure washing company getting up and running without me advertising at all and all of a sudden i was working it felt like seven days a week because i'm still at my full-time job at the factory friday through sunday and then i was pressure washing during the week and i just i really did have no time to record anything um, i finally got a day off today to record this for you guys i have a day off tomorrow i actually had two days in a row it blew my mind and tomorrow i'm going to edit this up and hopefully get this out to you guys by friday if not tomorrow night but that's all i have guys i'm glad to be back i hope you guys are ready for this series give me some ideas of some productions give me some ideas of what you want to do i do maybe want to put one or two fields here i don't know what we're going to plant here um, but with the money from the silage bells we'll be able to get a plow for the john deere and a cedar to be able to seed it up and uh yeah we'll go from there let me know what we should plant let me know what we should do how many fields let me just let me know what you your opinion is and we'll go from there all right See you in the next one and peace out.